So on my way of hunting hen of the woods, I also find these nice uh, clustered uh, pear-shaped papua mushroom. They are edible, but they are, um, of course, they are not as taste as tasty as hen of the woods, but it still tastes good. So when you pick uh, the pear-shaped papua mushroom. You want to make sure these mushrooms are firm if they are very spongy very soft they might be too old to to eat like like this one or they might be there might be some you know a worm holes inside the mushroom so these one are not good obviously well, you want to take those relative firm okay like this one you see these meat are white okay so when you harvest uh, puff ball mushroom one thing you need to make sure is that the inner part of the mushroom is white instead of black if you cut the mushroom you can see the inner part of the mushroom should be purely white if it's dark or it is black, it, it is probably not edible. Now we're going to prepare an easy dish for the puffball mushroom. To prepare the mushroom, first remove its skin. The skin is edible but it is a little bit leathery to eat. One tip is to put the mushroom into the freezer for about 5 minutes. That way you will find the skin becomes more easily removable. Remember don't wash the mushroom, otherwise it will absorb too much water. Then go ahead to prepare some other ingredients. Mix one garlic and a half onion into small pieces. Before preparing the sauce, let's first cook the pasta. When the water is boiling, add one tablespoon salt. Then add pasta. Depending on the type of pasta you use, the cooking time is different. Here I use angel hair, so it will only take 1 or 2 minutes to cook. To cook the mushroom sauce, first add some olive oil to a pan. Heat on medium high. And sequentially add chopped bacon, garlic, and onion. You can also add some chili pepper if you prefer a little bit spicy. Then add some half uh, pashpal mushroom slices. Saute until they turn brown. Now it's time to add pasta sauce and some boiling water if the sauce is too dry.
Continue to cook until the pasta and the puffball mushroom absorbs all the sauce. When it's done, you can go ahead to add some shredded cheese on top of it. Now it's time to enjoy the great flavor from the nature.